The history of Brink Locking, which was founded by my father in 1976, but the interesting part is he met my mother in 1960 in San Francisco and she convinced him to go back and work with the family company that was located then in Joliet, Illinois. And that company was called the Folger Adam Company, which is a well-known name in the industry. My grandparents decided to sell the company and my dad was left hanging there running the company at that point. Uh, and then he convinced the top engineer of Folger Adam at the time to come work with him, took him and the head of human resources, and he opened up Brink Locking and started the company down in the basement of our house in Mayfield Avenue in Joliet, Illinois. And we developed a narrow jam lock the Model 3020, which is well known. And from there, we developed the full line to compete with the other players in the industry. And we take great pride in, in the product we make. It's uh, designed and manufactured, assembled, and sold from here. It's all one company. We pioneered what is known as the Narrow Jam Lock, our Model 3020 and that was a unique proposition at the time. It was designed to appeal to the architect's need at the time for a softer architectural environment. And then since that time, we have developed the full line of products to accommodate all levels of security in the prison. And we do everything from the narrow jam lock, which is still a big seller, up to high security sliding door devices. As far as manufacturing, we manufacture all the parts in our, in our products here. All products except for castings, which comes from a foundry. We're not in the foundry business. But any other part, cylindrical in nature, or stampings, large or small, are all brought in here. We bring in the steel, and we cut it out with our lasers, form it with our lathes, our CNC lathes, or sculpt it with our CNC mills. All parts are made here. And from there, we bring it up to assembly, and that's where really we you know, take great pride in our assemblers. Many of these assemblers have been with us for 35 years. So the amount of institutional knowledge, if you will, with our product is unparalleled in the industry. We've had very little turnover with our workforce. Many of them down there know the problems that the end user in the prisons come across. They, they know how to solve them themselves. And uh, that's a big advantage. That's what separates us from uh, our competitors, I feel. Well, Poly Jail is an interesting uh, player in the market. They have done a great job uh, distinguishing themselves by offering service to an architect well, be well before most of Poly's competitors get involved. They also have a lot of institutional knowledge um, that they offer the architect. Uh, they prefer a design-build method of getting the job out onto the street and uh, it's, in my opinion, proven uh, superior to other methods. Joe Poor knows who to call when he has a problem that can't be solved by normal channels. He'll, he'll call me at nighttime and we have a problem and it gets solved immediately. And that's where Polly really can uh, shine for the architects and for the end users because Polly knows the owners and they can get results quick.